Matter is changing all around you. These changes can be divided into physical changes and chemical changes. A physical change is a change in a substance that does not involve the formation of a new substance. A physical change can involve a change in state, size, or shape of the substance. The substance has taken on a new physical form but has not changed its chemical makeup. Melting ice, boiling water, tearing or crumpling up a piece of paper, grinding salt, dissolving sugar or salt in water, and cutting grass are all examples of physical change. Cutting, ripping, crumpling, dissolving, chopping, breaking, grinding, and crushing are all signs of a physical change. A chemical change is a change in which one or more new substances are formed. Roasting a marshmallow, souring of milk, iron rusting, digestion of food, burning of gasoline, and baking a cake are all examples of a chemical change. Some clues that indicate a chemical change has occurred include change of color, where the new substance has a different color than the original substance, a change in odor, where the new substance is formed with a detectable odor, heat or light is produced, bubbles of gas are produced that are not caused by heating, a new solid called a precipitate is formed when two liquids are mixed together, and the change is difficult to reverse. Rusting, burning, a plant growing, baking a cake, cooking, and a precipitate forming when two liquids are mixed together to form a solid are all examples of chemical changes. To recap, a physical change changes the shape or size of a substance. A change of state may occur and no new substance is produced. A chemical change always produces one or more new substances. Now let's make some breakfast. I need a cup of tea to start my day. Let's boil some water. Is boiling water a physical or a chemical change? Bubbles are produced and are a clue that a chemical change occurred, but ask yourself, has a new substance been created or has the water just taken on a new form? Can you easily reverse this change? You're correct, it's a physical change. Water has taken on a new form, steam, and you can easily reverse this change. Okay, let's get cracking. Is cracking an egg a physical or a chemical change? Has a new substance been created? Can you easily reverse this change? It's a physical change. Although you cannot uncrack the egg, it has not changed into a new substance. The egg is still an egg, and the shell has just changed its shape. Now let's get cooking. Is cooking an egg a physical or a chemical change? Has a new substance been created? Are there any clues that a chemical change has taken place? You're right again, it's a chemical change. There's been a change in color. The egg white has gone from a clear color to a solid white. There's a change in odor and it's difficult to reverse. Let's not forget the toast. Is making toast a physical or a chemical change? You got it, it's a chemical change. 
Again, there's been a change in color, a change in odor, and it's difficult to reverse. Breakfast is served. Now that you know the difference between a physical and a chemical change, try these. Now go finish the rest of your homework.